Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Katie Shindig, and I'm back with another Stitch Fix video. For those of you that don't know how Stitch Fix works and haven't seen my other Stitch Fix videos, basically you pay $20 a month for a styling fee, and a stylist picks out five items for you, depending on your styling quiz, your Pinterest, your Instagram, and anything you might have emailed them throughout the time, and you pay for what you want to keep but you get $20 off because of your styling fee and you just send back what you don't want in the mailing back bag that they do have included in the box. If you like this video and you want to try Stitch Fix without paying the $20 styling fee, please just use my referral link down below and you will not have to pay that. So without further ado, let's unbox! There's shoes in here. I haven't got shoes in a while, guys. So here's my mailback bag, my prices, and my letter from the stylist. And we have some shoes. Oh my gosh, the sneak peek looks bright red. Can y'all see that? And we have our clothes. So, I don't normally do red, so we're going to do the shoes last, and we're going to start with the clothes. It is starting to get warm, so I hope that they kept that in mind when picking out this box. So the first thing I see is like army green, and it looks like it has a collar. So, oh it's thick. This is nice and thick thick so it's like oh there's did y'all see that when I turned it around and I didn't even see that okay so it's like a I think it's more like a sweater than a shirt honestly maybe it's a shirt but it's really thick but it's like this cargo army green button-down shirt or yeah and then on the back it has these flowers so I really don't think I care for this too much like I don't like I don't want to put on a button-up shirt with a collar on a day that I don't have to go to work but then I see the back and I see these flowers and I'm like actually this is so cute so this is definitely going to be something that I'm not going to know whether I'm going to like it or not until after I try it on so the name of this is the hummingbird and it is fifty dollars so like I said this is just gonna be something that I'm gonna have to try on and see if I like I don't know it feels really thick and warm like but I don't know if it's a shirt or a sweater like I don't like the front but I really like the back so we'll just see Okay guys, so after trying this shirt on, I will not be keeping it. I was right. It is definitely not my style. I love the back and I do think it could be cute. However, it's just not something that I would reach for because of the front. I really like the back, but the front is just not something I would reach for. I feel like this shirt is like a mullet. Like it's like business in the front, party in the back. Like... <laughs> And I don't want a mullet in a shirt or a mullet on my head. So this shirt's just like a mullet to me and I will definitely be sending it back. Next we have something blue. This looks kind of like a dress to me maybe. Oh, it's not. It's a shirt. Okay. So it's like a navy blue tank top with like this frilly, frilly bottom and then the sleeves are frilly and then there's a V in the back. So I do think this is a super cute shirt and I can't wait to try it on but I just don't know if it's my style. This is the Faith and Zoe Pea Plum blouse and it's $64. 
So that does seem kind of expensive to me for a shirt. So we'll see what happens when I try it on. We'll see if I love it. I really thought that was going to be a dress. So after trying on this shirt, I do think this shirt is very cute. I think this shirt is very professional. However, this shirt was very hard to put on and I'm small. And I don't feel like this shirt on the bottom really flatters my body type. Like I wish it went down a little bit longer than it does. So I just don't feel like it's very flattering. So I do find this shirt cute, but I do not find this shirt $64 cute, so I will be sending this shirt back. Next, we have something gray. What is it? What is the gray thing? Oh, it's like a um, strappy tank top. So it has these straps in the front, and then it also has straps in the back. And they seem to move. And it's just like a basic tank top with some strappy detailing in the color gray. So that's really cute. This is the American Able Cross Front, front Knit Top. And it is $28. And without trying this on, I feel like I'll probably keep it. I feel like this is a basic that you could just use to make a really cute outfit. Especially in like the spring or summer. So after trying on this tank top, I will definitely be keeping it. I don't think, it's not as strappy as I thought it was. And I don't know that I necessarily find this strap this flattering, but I don't find it like not flattering. It's just like there. I think it kind of helps with like the neckline. And if you were wearing like a different necklace than I am, it'd be really cute. And this tank top is so comfy, guys. Oh my gosh, it's like so soft. And it has one of those things on the inside, like the booby things, which is really good because as a lot of y'all know, if you watch my other videos, I don't wear a bra. I, I own like one bralette. Like, I don't do it. I don't do bras. So that's really good for a shirt like this that's kind of tight for me. So I will be keeping this tank top. And last but not least, oh my god, guys, I pinned these on my Pinterest board so many times. I wanted these so bad. They're these jeans, and they have, like, these pearl, like, embroideries on them. I think it's called an embroidery. So they're ripped, and then the bottom is, like, cropped and kind of ripped up, but this was the part I loved. I kept seeing these on Pinterest and I was just like, I hope I get those jeans. I hope I get those jeans. I hope I get those jeans. I didn't know how much they were though. So these are the STS Cali Distressed um, Pearl Jeans and they are $69, which I do not think is a bad price at all. And I hope these fit, guys. I hope these fit so well. The waist looks nice and high. They look like they'll fit me. I hope these fit me right. They are so cute. I'm so excited. So after trying on these jeans, I will definitely be keeping them. I told you guys when I opened them. If they fit, I was keeping them, and I do really like the way they fit. I think the knee's a little bit weird, but I think that will adjust with time. Other than that, I really like the way these jeans fit, and the price is nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I spent way more than $69 on a pair of jeans that I really liked before, so keeping these jeans is definitely going to be no problem, and I am so excited. I think they are so cute. I'm a little bit worried about washing them. I don't want these little pearls to come off. So if you guys have any suggestions about how I should wash these jeans, 
Will you please comment down below and let me know because I do not want to mess them up, but I also want to be able to wash them. I don't want to mess them up, but I also want to be able to wash them. I don't wash my jeans every time I wear them. I just wash them when they quit fitting how I like them to fit, but I do want to be able to wash them. So if you guys have any ideas for a good way to wash these without making the pearls get messed up and come off, please comment down below and let me know. And last but not least, we have a pair of bright red shoes. So I'm just going to say right off the bat, I'm not going to keep these. <laughs> I will not. The red is not my style, especially in a shoe. I'm, I'm not going to keep these. These shoes are called the Pecora Odorsi Flat and they are $49, but they are definitely not the right color for me and they're flats, you know, and I like flats, but my toe hangs out here, like the crease of my toe, and I am not a fan of that ever. Also, I feel like when I sit down, they're too big, like I feel like flat footed, they're fine, but sitting down and relaxing, like that's weird kind of I just feel like that's weird basically I will definitely be sending back these shoes so now I'm just gonna mail everything I'm not gonna keep back in my mailbox bag stick it in my mailbox and I'll be good to go And other than that, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to keep seeing me, then please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget, if you want to try Stitch Face without the $20 styling fee, then use my referral link down below and you will get to. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!